Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be sharing few best effective solution to fix high disk or 100% disk usage on Windows 11. So these are the updated and very effective solutions. So you make sure you do not skip any part and apply all these solutions. Now before starting, what you can do, you can make a right click on your Windows icon. Then choose Task Manager. Now here, in the disk section, you have to click once. And then you will see all kind of application that is occupying the maximum disk usage. I can see Windows widgets. Then I can see Google Chrome. Of course, that occupy a lot of disk usage. And then we have other applications. Then we also have few services and system icons. So now what you will have to do first, I can see that the widget especially in Windows 11, it occupies a lot of disk usage and even the CPU usage. So first, we need to disable the Windows widget. And if you really don't need it, kindly go ahead and disable it. So for that, you need to make a right click on your taskbar, then choose taskbar settings. And here you will find the widgets and the chat option. You need to disable both these options here. But disabling it from here will not make too much of changes. And you also need to disable it from the group policy editor. So for that, close everything. Click on your Windows search, type GP edit. Then you will be getting edit group policy. Click on it. Now in case the group policy editor doesn't come up on your Windows 11, then I have already created a video that how you can bring GP edit back on your computer. You can watch that video. And once you come here, uh, you need to click on administrative templates under computer configuration then go to windows components and then you have to look for widgets so once you get it double click on it then on the right side you will find allow widgets double click on it and now you have to choose this to disabled then click on apply and then click on ok now you can close it next click on your windows search type services then click on services app here you have to look for a service called sysmain. So keep scrolling down to the S section and you will find somewhere the sysmain service. Once you get it, double click on it. Now here in the startup type, you have to choose it to disabled. Then click on stop. Now click on apply and then click on OK. Next, you also need to make sure that you go with the high performance or ultimate performance power plan. So click on your Windows search, type power cfg.cpl hit the enter key and now here it should be checked to balanced or the power saving so you need to click on show additional plan and make sure that you select your high performance or ultimate performance whichever plan is available now in case if you don't find either of them like high or ultimate then i have already created a video on that as well you can just check that video and bring that option back so you need to choose high performance or ultimate performance and then you have to close it. Next, you need to also disable the Windows notifications. So right click on your Windows icon, then click on settings. Now here from the left in menu option, click on privacy and security. Then here you'll find Windows permission. So you have to disable all these whichever you don't need. So click on general and you can disable all of these notification here then you can go back then click on speech disable it then you can go to inking and typing personalization diagnostic and feedback activity history and then searching windows and search permission you can disable all the permission here then finally close it next you need to disable the startup application so right click on your windows icon click on task manager from the top menu option click on startup now here you have to look for all the items that you don't need while the computer boot up. So any kind of application, third party application like Bluestack, Battle.net, Discord, a OneDrive, Lively Wallpaper, a PCI Manager, Team, anything which has been enabled here, you have to disable it. All right, you don't have to touch any other file like CTF Loader or related to Microsoft like audio file or the Wi-Fi rest, any third party application that you have manually installed, you can disable it. Next, you need to also clear the storage section. So right click on the Windows icon again, then click on settings. Now here, scroll down a bit, you will find the storage option, click on storage. And here it will start calculating the space. 
once calculated you have to click on the temporary files then it will show you all kind of temporary files uh, by the categories so you can see all kind of junk here like recycle bin download so if you don't need the item that has been moved to the recycle bin or if you don't need the download then you can check all these options check other options here then click on remove file this will also free up much space on your drive perform this action and then finally you have to click on your windows search type terminal click on windows terminal click run as administrator then click on yes the black window will be coming up here you have to type a command that will be chk dsk dot exe space for slash f space for slash r hit the enter key and it will say would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restart so press the y key restart the computer the next time when the computer restart it will be checking for any kind of disk problem and after that check back your disk usage i'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed so hopefully guys this complete list of solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye